Hello. No one knows this about me. Yeah, that's your thumbnail for your YouTube video. And my hair is literally frazzled. <laughs> I have found out that I am autistic. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> oh, welcome back to 2023. Ugh. I've licked it. That is actually gross. It tasted salty, which is really, really weird. If you're new here and you don't recognize this mug, I am Katie. <laughs> As you can see, I'm bleaching. I have hormonal hair and we're gonna normalize hair on the face. She says that while she's trying to bleach her hair to hide the hair. I've tried everything in my life. I have tried laser. That actually increased my hair growth and it made it worse. I have tried the one where they like pull each individual hair out within like a zap it. Can't remember what that's called. For anyone who's interested, I use the Nair hair for the face. Um, and yeah, I've tried waxing, shaving. They all make it darker, thicker, more. So now I've resulted to bleaching and just hoping and praying that hormonal hair stops. <laughs> I know this is very random, but if I don't pull you out now, it's morning time. I've got Winnie home today. I just got home from dropping Darce off at school. We're in a whole new routine over here, which is why I have had a very all over the shop upload schedule. I was full-time mum mode for like three months. So that's why end of last year to early this year, I was like a bit MIA with my content. It's not that I didn't want to be here. It's not that I don't love to be here with you guys, but it's just that unfortunately life, life changes, life things happen and you just have to adapt as a mum. You, you don't have a choice. And I have very, very, very active children. And so we're always on the go, always going places. And I have a policy where I don't show them in my content anymore. So. It does sort of restrict what I can share, and especially when a majority of my life is my kids. So what would I talk about if I'm not talking about them? Uh, but it is a new year. He has started school. I have a little one who's in daycare three days a week, Winnie, and Monday and Friday, today's Monday, and Mondays I'm home with him. Or well, we still go do stuff, but I'm home with him. This bag, so cute. I got some from Bon Maxi. I got two for Christmas. Sorry, the camera quality is shocking. I got two for Christmas from Elliot and I literally love them. They hang up by a hook. They're travel cases and they have, I think something crazy like 40 pockets or something. I don't know, something ridiculous like that. Anyway, let's get this bleach off my face. How do I do it again? I've forgotten. Oh yeah, she bleached. She bleached good. You can see all those lovely bleached hairs. They're obviously not gone, but it makes a big difference for me. Ah, this earring, or these earrings, I love them, but they get caught on anything that I put near my ear. Oh, yes. It feels so good to get that off my face. It is burning. Lovely jubbly. I do still um, wax and pluck occasionally, some of the darker hairs, or thicker hairs I should say, but that does the job, it does the job. Now that that is done skis, I'm gonna make another snack for Winnie Woo. While he eats, I'm gonna film some content, and then I don't know what we're gonna do today. I was thinking of going to a pool, but we went to a pool all weekend, and my hair, is literally frazzled from the chlorine. And this is saying something because I take care, I take a lot of care in my hair. I even did an oil, not last night, but the night before. Like I completely oiled my hair, masked it, everything. And it's back to frazzle. And I know I shouldn't have slept in chlorine hair last night, but by the time I realized that I still had chlorine hair, it was bedtime and I do not like sleeping with wet hair because then it ends up looking like shite the next day. And so I told myself I would wash it this morning and then I thought, well, maybe we'll be going to the pool again today. So it's a vicious cycle. We love to hear chlorine hair stories. Oh, that's my medication alarm. Where is it? Take five ants. And that is on having ADHD. <laughs> have to have an, a, a, like an actual clock alarm to physically go off, otherwise I don't take my notes. No need to wonder why I don't you forgot. Oh, thank you, baby, I'll remember that. <sighs> um, yeah, I have had like an update in my medication schedule and what I do, so if you're interested in, in like 
a mental health update. I know I put it over on Instagram. A lot of you did say that you wanted like a mukbang style sit down update. Um, yeah, there's so much to update on, like <laughs> literally so much. Uh, but one of those things is a medication dose change and things like that. So anyway, good morning. Another day, another thing to do. <laughs> oh, also, Uncomfy side is in the background. I just never take it down from the podcast set, so I just leave it there permanently now. So you're just gonna have to see that in my everyday life. Um, if you didn't know, we, me and Ali, have started a podcast together. So yeah, it's been super fun. You can check that out. Um, I'll have it linked below if you're interested. But that's not what I came to talk about. This morning, I am gonna be painting my nails. I use acrylic powder and like, proper gel UV stuff. I've been doing my nails now for like close to six, seven months, I think. And last night I put all of the, don't worry about these two, they are stuck on with acrylic over the top. So that's why they're a different color. Uh, but they look pretty good. Like they're short. I wanted a short one this time, sort of like a coffin cut but like miniature version. And the reason I sort of split it up and didn't like paint them last night is because this took me like four hours. I know it sounds crazy, I know, but I'm a perfectionist. And <laughs> it's also really hard to do with your left hand, surprisingly. Anyway, I got a new brush for my acrylic powder yesterday. It came in the mail from Amazon. Let me tell you that this is worth every bit of money. <laughs> Do not use the cheap little brushes that come with the acrylic powder. This is made from Kalinsky hair, I wanna say, and it is so good. I don't wanna ruin my new nails by getting this out. And then when it gets wet, it really like puffs up with the monomer and it just fits my nail so perfectly. Like I had zero issues yep, last night because previously the other brushes had got really hard because the powder had set in the bristles. It was a nightmare. And I was like, no, I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> but I actually wasn't doing it wrong. I think it was just the shocking quality of that other brush. Anyway, long story short to say is I was learning still with a new tool and also doing it with your left hand is a big nightmare. Anyway, I'm gonna be painting my nails this morning. So help me choose a color. I'm actually really excited. I've been doing my nails too frequently. I change them too frequently. But to be fair, it's because of the chlorine in the pool. I'm blaming it on that. So I have a whole basket full of <laughs> bits and bobs here. I'll have my Amazon purchases linked below. If you're interested in doing your nails at home, I know it's not for everyone, but I always get asked over on Instagram whenever I talk about it, so I'll link them there. I also bought one of these like color nail things, and then every time I get a new nail polish, I just paint another one and add it on. Um, so I've got some pastel colors, and then I've got some nudie colors, and then some sheer colors, like they're quite opaque. Um, and then they've got the block nudie colors. So a really great base of an array of colors. I'm thinking of doing like a nudie opaque base. The only thing that's stopping me wanting to do that is the two white, the two white nails over on this hand. But you know what, I'm gonna risk it. And then I'm gonna do like a very fine because I got, where are they? I also purchased these new like artsy nail brushes so I should have a really 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 fine line with my polish so yeah I'm thinking of doing a very very fine line tip which is kind of trendy right now but yeah let's see how much success we can have with this <laughs>
maneuvering the Tetris of shit. Sorry about your couch. <laughs> no, literally fine. And we're matching. Not meaning to. <laughs> And then just thumbnails. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Should I so, cry? I can cry because I'm oh, emotional. We both were cry oh, okay. Can you do it on cue? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's so exciting. You're like, yeah. <laughs> you don't look like you're crying to me, love. You I'm look trying. like you're having a fucking hold on, hold on, hold on. I had the worst indigestion in today's episode. <laughs> just stop. cry about my indigestion. Okay. Could you imagine though if we both? Oh, okay. Fucking hell, she's committing everybody. <laughs> Got the wobbly chin. <laughs> I'm gonna do what you just did. <laughs> And this is our light with it turned on. They normally just see it in the background of the video. Aww, cute. You're welcome. Oh, it's very cute. Good morning, good morning. I cannot remember what the last clip was. I know I recorded some of my podcast last night, but I think the last time that I vlogged before that was the day before yesterday. <laughs> Look, you've come to know by now <laughs> that I am not a consistent vlogger, but I still didn't want to give up on this video. Um, I know that it's sort of uh, very focused towards my vlog and I, uh, my vlog, my podcast, and I promise I was not meaning for that to happen. I actually forgot that today I've got a photo shoot for, un for Uncomfy the Podcast. Words for me just aren't wording. Um, yeah, anyway, so I have a bunch of clothes over here. It is currently Wednesday. The, the clothes that we have picked out, or that I've picked out to match Ali, um, someone in the Curve community, sorry, I really don't want to like bend down like this, it's really annoying my back. Someone in the Curve community is a model, and she's also a photographer, sorry, I'm just going to get that on my face, a photographer, and she's got the a studio over in Redcliffe, and she usually photo shoots like dogs and um, animals and things like that. So I will link her below. She's an incredible photographer, but she's so, so, so sweet. So when we launched the podcast, she actually DM'd us being like, hey, so if you'd ever be interested in coming in for a photo shoot, I just absolutely love what you guys are doing. And I would love to like, yeah, give you guys an uncomfy photo shoot. Un unbelievable, like incredibly kind, women supporting women, like I just... I'm so thankful. So thank you so much, Sarah. I'll have, like I said, her photo sh um, studio linked below for you guys to go and check her out. Um, but that is what we're doing this afternoon. We recorded the podcast till I think it was like 10.30 last night. So we've definitely had a late night. And then I, of course, stayed up, watched some reality TV. I've come to learn that that's something that I really, really enjoy. And as I unfold more information <laughs> throughout the year, you will start to understand more about me. I talked about it actually last night on the vlog for the first time, but I have had pretty strong confirmation from my, uh, not physio, psychiatrist, that he's confident that what I had suspected my diagnosis was, is true. Um, so I guess we can just sort of talk about it here because it's coming out in the podcast anyway. Um, I have found out that I am autistic. Why am I going to cry? <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, it's just like one of those, <laughs> it's just one of those things. There's been a lot of symptoms and things and reasons. And like I said earlier in this vlog, I will definitely go into more of those details as time goes on. And I will go in, into more details into in the, in a mukbang style video where I can like literally brain dump on you guys um but yeah i would be lying if i said it's been easy it's been hard it has if like i'm really honest with you it's been really really hard 
oh, I did not expect this conversation to end up here in this moment. But like I said, it just all sort of came out in the podcast last night and I want to give you guys, um, cause you've been here on my journey the whole time. I wanted to give you guys that update. Um, I do also still have ADHD. I'm pretty confident of that. And so is my psychiatrist. Like my medication is working. We finally landed on a great combination. Um, and that was when I started to notice that something else was still going on. Cause I was like, well, hold on. <laughs> I'm noticing this is really working for me. Like all these medications, like, but there's still a whole list of symptoms. Um, one of which is my speech. I've had a significant, I don't want to cry. <laughs> it's really emotional because it's my job to be able to talk. <laughs> and I mean, God, it's just life. It's just life skills, right? To be able to communicate effectively. Fuck, it's really hard being vulnerable on the internet. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, no one knows this about me, except for Elliot. And now Ali as well, cause she's like obviously got to know me quite well over the last six months. But essentially it's part of like autism and autism that's been undiagnosed for such a long time, oftentimes a sign of late diagnosis or like a sign that can lead to late diagnosis is the, not detriment, but like, see again, I can't think of the word that I know I want to use. Essentially where an area is starting to degress. So like for me, it's language, um, confidence in social settings, um, just a whole lot of symptoms that has happened because I've been suppressing and like masking and just trying to like survive. Um, yeah, so I have ADHD and autism and at this stage it is mostly self-diagnosed but I've had two of my medical professionals that have been on my team through this entire experience of my journey with my mental health and they've both affirmed to me that I'm on the right path as far as what they can say. They obviously can't diagnose but they're pretty confident and they're trying to both advocate for me to push forward for a diagnosis, like a formal diagnosis. But it's expensive, like it's in the thousands. I'm just trying to like consider my options. I have a lot of feelings about it. I have self-doubt. I have fear of rejection. Um, and once it's out there, it's reality, you know, like it's, it's something that I'm gonna have to have that label of for life. Um, and there is like literally nothing wrong with autistic people. Like I have no negative image of an autistic person, but like, I don't, I can't say the same for everyone in society. Like I know the perception of autistic people in other people's eyes who are less kind and less understanding and less knowledgeable. Like I'm only knowledgeable about it because I've been putting efforts into learning about it, you know, and I've got friends who have children with autism and that's where like my first understanding of autism really came from. <sighs> We're all good. <laughs> I like feel this like weird mixture of positive feelings and sad feelings and I'm grieving in a way. I'm grieving for my old life and trying to validate and accept my new life. So with that being said, I'm gonna regroup, get on with steaming so we can get ready for this photo shoot this afternoon. It's gonna be an uncomfy photo shoot. I'm so excited. It's not for anything in particular. It's just to have photos for socials. Let me know in the comments if you have been enjoying the podcast or if you've listened to it, um, any feedback you might have for it as well. Like it's just, yeah.
getting cozy on my bed this morning I just got back from dropping off Darcy at school when he's at daycare Elle dropped him off I'm about to get stuck into editing I'm not someone who likes to sit at a desk generally uh, which is ironic because I did definitely set up a whole desk and office to edit in uh, but I just find that if I'm sitting there I get really sore like wrists hands back and I just get really fidgety. I don't, yeah, I don't like it. I just don't, never have, never will. I like to edit on my tummy, on my bed, sitting on the bed or sitting on the couch. They're my favorite places to edit. I think because a big hurdle for me is pulling myself away from like, as bad as this sounds, the TV, um, or like things like cozy vibes, cozy, chill day vibes so if I'm incorporating those chill day vibes into my work experience it just makes that hurdle seem less and it's just like less official that I'm at work if you know what I mean uh let's see let's pull up my notion oh my gosh speaking of notion I am obsessed with notion it's the only planner that I've ever been able to maintain and keep I still find it hard to stay consistent all the time with it but like I'm pretty consistent with it like I use it almost every day um, until I get off the bandwagon and then there's occasionally a few weeks that I'll go without using it and then I'll be like why is my life so chaotic again and I'm like oh because I'm not using my planner so if you ever want to um, see it let me know and yeah but anyway <laughs> not the point my to-do list today is yeah edit the vlog uncomfy thumbnail edit my TikToks that I filmed a couple of days ago and then if I get time which I will not probably <laughs> because I have to do hair and makeup if I want to do these things is film a collab that's come in and film my lullaby club order which came in the mail a couple of days ago um for some new pieces that I purchased because I'm obsessed with their stuff <laughs> A quick little outfit of the day from Love Ellis Rose. I love this midi dress so much. It's got a shirt top and it's like kind of knee-ish, just below knee. They're all double lined, which I love. Well, not all of them, but majority of them are double lined. And they have the lovely billowing sleeves. I never find that these fall off my arms. Like they're such a good fit for me personally. I will link that below in case you are interested. I do have a discount code and I am affiliated to Love Ellis Rose. I actually model for them, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, they go up to a size 24 in some styles. I am gonna be unboxing this, but I thought that I would also at the same time record a, po um, report, record a podcast, record a TikTok underneath the lens right here. So I'm gonna be looking down here, but I am also talking to you guys, but I am doing the unboxing for TikTok, but I thought you would also like to see it on YouTube instead of sending you over there to watch it. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm about to press play. <laughs> This is really weird and I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, I received the Lullaby Club's parcel this week and I made a sneaky purchase for summer. I'm unboxing it at the moment with my YouTube lens above the camera here on TikTok. So yeah, we're just gonna be joying it today. I've never done this before. Let's see how this goes. All right, so I've purchased from the, the Lullaby Club. It's quite the mouthful um, before and I'm usually a size large extra large 1820 and I've purchased two of their pieces for summer this year 
which I'm so excited. I have been eyeing them off and I finally took the plunge. Cannot wait to try them on. So we've got the Positano Cami. This was $74.95. Now I did have, I used a friend's discount code. So I think it was Maddie10. Um, I'll have it in the description if I can find it. Oh my god, this is so soft. I live in my Lullaby Club stuff. I am obsessed with them as a company, the stuff that they make and design. Like, look at this. The detail. Stunning. Oh, yes. Giving me all the boho dreams. Excuse me, I've just had breakfast. Now, next up, the pants of my dream. Now, I also was eyeing off the dress, but the dress was $130, and I just thought, not for right now, it doesn't meet my budget. Uh, but the pants, I think, were like $90 or something. I own these in white, and they're the linen pants, and these are stunning. <gasps> Shut the front door. Have a look at that gorgeous brown floral design. It's like a cream underneath it. Oh, I love it so much. Anyway, come back for part two because we're about to time out and I will try it on for you. You guys are going to have to see the try on on, on TikTok if you want to because right now I'm not going to do the try on part. Um, that's what I usually do with part one and part twos, especially when there's a try on necessary because it's going to take this need to steam. I'm comfy. I'm about to edit something. I wanted to get this opened because I'm going to be filming it at the studio on Saturday. Um, so yes, <laughs> sorry to be a pain, um, but I thought you'd like to see what they were anyway. And that's the kind of behind the scenes of my TikToks. I'm very much just like, throw it together and see how it goes. <laughs> I received the Lullaby Club parcel this week and I made a sneaky Okay, draft saved. Anyway, back to editing, which is what I was actually supposed to be doing.